Hey everybody, it's Mario C67 here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer versus with. Um, what's the Chow Chin Chow Lantern <laughs> Joe here? <laughs> <laughs> I was totally not expecting that at all. I've been waiting to do that all series. <laughs> I've okay, been practicing and everything. Really? Yeah. Wow. By the way, I, <laughs> I it took me se it took me a second to think of how to do yours. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, there, got it. <laughs> By the way, I'm Joe's PH Games. He's Kaiserado. <laughs> Just want yep. to mention that in case you're new. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in case you're confused, like, what are these people talking about? Am I in like the wrong place or something? <laughs> I might occasionally end up ending the episode as him, just to annoy him. Mm -hmm. But again, I already have a quick <laughs> lava, so I'm kind of annoying him already. Sure is. <sighs> That's all I gotta say, is... <sighs> okay, Crawdunt, you know Hyper Beam. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, look at that for alligator. It is pink. <laughs> uh, you look fabulous. What do I do against a Crawdunt that knows Hyper Beam? You sketch it and use it against it. Well, I don't have sketch. I can kill it. <laughs> My good friend RTK would really like this uh, Crawdunt. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bartolari is so close to level 30. Right, this, uh, this Flaffy knows ice punch! <laughs> <laughs> well then, it needs more syllables in order to, to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But every time I use it, it like I've got a bright you that knows Thunder Punch. So every time I use it, I say, catch this, Thunder Punch! <laughs> <laughs> like, that one's a lot easier to do, but no. Ice uh, Punch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I officially hate this this breeder now, because they threw out a Quilava. How dare you. Uh I can't wait until I beat my father and I can get surfed and I can try to look for, for a Cyndaquil. Hmm. Well, it might be a while. And it also might not be hopefully, this recording session. Hopefully soon. If I can stop running into trainers on my way to Mount Chimney. Because I completely skipped okay, this route. Okay, so execute is orange. Oh. Why does it keep around one of the eggs that are broken? Don't know. That's my question. <laughs> and speaking of questions, what's your question for today, sir? <laughs> I don't know. I literally, like, I haven't actually had a chance to think of one. Okay, well, you take time to think about it, and we can worry about it later, if you want. You ruined my segue. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I actually really don't know what to say, like... Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a question of the day for you guys. Now, uh, profes uh, professionally, for this question of the day, I'd like to think there's a gun pointed at your head right now, Think of this, uh, ready to think of this answer. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Now, if this was the case, what p if uh, if there was a gun pointed at your head and what uh, and the person told you to eat a Pokemon, what Pokemon would you eat? Oh, so we're going back on that topic, are we? Yes. But now we're <laughs> in a life. I'm now putting oh, yeah. you in a life-threatening situation where you would have to do it. Like, well. Hmm. Oh yeah, what'd you think of my um my um my editing skills on the thumbnail for that one video? <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> I put freaking you put food there. I put far fetched in, in a bowl of soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, if I had to eat a Pokemon yeah, if you had to eat or die. Someone. Yeah. I'd rather die than eat a Pokemon. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. Okay, so Sceptile, thank you for that. 
Well, if it was in that case. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it, obviously that would be a different story since we're used to the animals in our world. It, I was like, that would be a different story, but I, I don't know. If I had to choose, probably a Tauros. Okay, a Tauros. So you're going for a cow-related Pokemon. Yeah, I guess. Because at the moment, I can't think of a chicken Pokemon. Um, Torchic? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there. I can. I mean, I want that instead then. Because I love chicken. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, I'd say it's. Uh, it's probably like the same size as a chicken nugget if you look at the Pokedex, actually. <laughs> okay, what about you? I know there's a lot of them, and in fact, the anime there's like one particular episode where you can actually see what Pokemon would look like if they were cooked. Apparently, uh, you can get, uh, apparently there are places in a Pokemon world where you can get Tauros burgers, and of course... Really? I think there's a restaurant that sells deep-fried Magikarp. How could you eat Magikarp? How are they even made of any meat or anything like that? I don't know. Maybe you just eat the skin. So I mean, you can't even freaking swim, and it's a freaking fish. And apparently, uh, as far as I've heard, thanks to uh, Second Gen and uh, Team Rocket... Uh, Slowpoke tail is supposed to be a delicacy. I know, and it costs freaking one million dollars in the in the Johto games. That's outrageous. So it must be something you can eat. Wow, Team Magma is called Team Awesome. Yay, Team Awesome! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's an interesting team name to have there. Was that really an option for the names? Are you kidding me? Are you really facing Maxi right now? I'm almost there. I'm fighting the grunt, the lackeys before him. I can't wait to fight Tabitha though, even though I do not like how he, how she looks, or he, whatever he is, in the freaking um, auras. I don't like how he looks. Why? Because he got fat. His no, it's his face. Oh. It bothers me. <laughs> it looks so weird. There's a lot of people who are on the fact that he got fat when he actually was fat originally. It just uh, never drew him like That's that. Not it's not nice to, to say it, to call it, to, to do that, though. It's not his fault. <laughs> or it could be. Yeah, but he was know. always meant to be that. They just didn't draw him right. <laughs> Apparently. Someone who ever... Instead of basing him on a hiker trainer like they should have done, they based him on some kind of other trainer. It didn't work. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, don't judge based on looks. It's not nice. No. Don't judge based on looks. That gets you. That's that's the same rules as like don't judge a book by its cover. It gets you to bad places. Because <laughs> you never you never may know if you actually take the time to get to look into something like yeah. that, you might like it. Because I remember when I was a kid, I used to do I used to go by that rule. But after learning about I actually give things a try, I learned to love a lot of a lot of books and stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, so this Croconaw knows Splash. Which apparently still does nothing, by the way, guys. Whoa, Robot Joe. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Like a, a robot not to me. a robot. Cape Creep Tabitha. That's an interesting name for you. Maybe it's you, because you're hosting the call this time. Yeah, whilst we were away, um, his Skype crashed. So now he's hosting the call. I was hosting the call before. Uh-huh. Oh yep, and now he yep. Your Joe has just gone robot for me. It's like did you did you join the Transformers or something? Hello, <laughs> I am Robot Joe. I am going to speak like robot for the rest of the episode. Oh my god, that sounds so weird. We are nine minutes into the episode, and I will talk like this for the rest oh, of the it episode. It's, it fixed itself. It's fine now. Holy crap, that far fetch is really lime green. I'm still going to talk like this. I will talk like robots for the rest of episode. Oh, please don't. Why? <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Tag Tabitha, you have a Togepi. You are so cool. <laughs> I'm going to kill it with a dragon claw. I killed a Caterpie with super effective ancient power. Apparently, Caterpie has effects for. Wait, 
Isn't Bone Club supposed to be a multi-hitting move? Yes. How come it only hits me once? Was that like a change in a Gen 4? Did it only need to hit you once? Like, were you once away from being dead? No, it, it doesn't even... No, it doesn't even bring up like a hit once or anything. It just hits you and then oh. that's it. I, I'm I'm guessing they, that they changed it then. In Gen 4. Because I know in Gen 4 it hits more than once. Because of Lucario when... um uh, What's his name has it? Riley. I guess I never knew that. Huh. Okay, maybe Bone Club hits more than one. Oh yeah, I have Bone Rush on Weed here, and that hits more than once. Oh, Bone Rush. I was like, okay, I couldn't remember. I think it's Bone Rush and then Bone Meringue also hit more than once. There's too many Bone-related moves. I know, it gets confusing. Wow, Torchic has Effect Spore. Everything has hmm. Effect Spore. I'm fighting Maxi now. Maxi of Team Magma. Yeah, I've officially given up on catching up with Kyla. <laughs> yeah, I think, dude, Maxi, your goals are going to get you in trouble. But he wants to <laughs> get, enlarge the land. He wants to make more land. That's his, ba that is his, his entire thing. <laughs> yeah, but what about all the sea creatures? Where are they going to go? Nowhere. We don't need sea creatures. But they're so. But the sea life is beautiful. So's animals. You ever been to a zoo? No. Oh my god, this thing is double teamed and it's now in a situation where I'm not going to hit no, you I'm... at all. Oh, you know Boomerang. No, I'm joking. I've been to a, a zoo a couple times. Well, Wildfire's dead. That's not good. Wow, this camera just murdering me. Holy crap. Maxi, you're being too strong for me right now. Stop it. Okie dokie. Can I please hit you? What, ty what type is this camera? Oh my god. I know it has a ghost type to it because I can't hit it with normal moves, but it's still not getting hit by anything. Don't tell me it's like ghost steel type or something. By the way, that would be a really cool typing. That would be. But I still want my fire ice typing. I want to see a fire water typing. We'd have one, Volcanium. Oh, we do? Well, technically it's that. not out yet, but it will be. Oh, is it one of the like those legendaries that haven't been put out yeah, yet? Yeah, it, it hasn't been released by Nintendo yet, but it will be. I think they're waiting for a movie. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Does Hoopa have a movie yet or no? Uh, this summer it's coming out with one, and I believe they just revealed the fact that it's going to have both forms in it, and it's fighting itself. Really? Spoilers. Eve, uh, uh, spoilers. The whole point of the uh, movie is the fact is that Evil, uh, evil or Hoopa Unbound is uh, getting hold of loads of legendaries. And the only way for good Hooper, Hooper normal form, to uh, stop the Hooper Unbound form is to go and get a load of legendaries of his own. And one of the legendaries well, he decides kinda... to go and get is Shiny Wayquaza. Ooh, that's cool. It kind of makes sense, though, especially after you're looking at Aura's with Hoopa's rings being everywhere. Yeah. I think it also Arceus is in it as well and stuff like that. And you get... Uh, New Serena. Hmm. With a new hairstyle that I don't know if people... It seems to get a reaction to people. Apparently people like it or not. I don't know. Have you seen Serena's new hairstyle? I haven't I haven't watched any of like the anime yet. I'm trying to catch up right now. <laughs> He's in the middle of Gen 3, by the way. Yeah, it's like I like I've seen bits and pieces of like almost every single bit, but I finally have been watching through the all of the seasons, and I'm and I'm currently at like the seventh gym of the Hoenn region. I can't wait to get to Diamond and Pearl. Apparently, Ash in the uh, in the sixth gen anime has a uh, uh, is it what is it Gudra? That's it, Gudra. 
He has a Gudra, apparently. I heard he like released it or something. Yeah, I've heard it, but I don't really, I don't want to watch that episode just in case that's a thing. If so, that's kind of. Why would he release a Gudra? That's a good Pokemon. Yeah, that's why I don't want to watch that episode. I'll find out, and I'll have a heart it, eventually, and they'll put some really sad music behind of, it. That makes me think of the time when he wanted to leave Pikachu to be with his other Pikachu. Oh, don't make me remember that. That makes me want to. Rem- that makes me want to cry. I remember the episode that you had for that. That made me. So- that made me want to cry so know, much. It was, it was so sad watching. P- it was so sad watching Pikachu cry. That and Bye Bye Butterfree. I hate that episode. Oh my gosh, that was so emotional. I was like, oh my god, no. <laughs> Eat that ice ball, Ludicolo. I hate Aer- I love Aeroblast. It's a very powerful move that does a lot of damage very quickly. Problem is, it has 5 PP. Huh. Well, that is a pretty powerful move for a legendary, so... Yeah, but it has 5 PP, and it's really annoying. And plus, that Wildfire has been smokescreened twice. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm surprised I even hit most of the moves I'm trying to hit. Wow. Okay, Maxi has been dealt with. Oh my god, you have two barriers up and your ghost type. God damn you, Executor. Um, I'm a bit worried now and I can't figure out what to do about this ghost type. Ink. Wishing, can you deal with this, please? Oh, that's double kick. That's going to hurt. No. <laughs> Wishing, you're level 28. I need you to hit with muddy water. Yay. Executor down. Cool. Sweet. Yo de la hee hoo. <laughs> hey, we're not in the mountains, so you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vardalar, you're so close to level 30. I want you to evolve. Is there a rare candy anywhere I can use? I found use? the Moonstone! Yay! Okay, no, you're not going to be able to fight a Machoke. Get oh. out of there. Holy crap. I really need to heal. I forgot I had this. What? Did... Had what? What? Criminals are falling! Did I remind you of a rare candy? Yes. I had one. I had one <laughs> in my bag and I forgot I had wow. it. And I realized that Criminal's level 26, so... Cha-ching! Yay! Lantern! Here comes Lantern! Well, I bet you're happy as daisies now. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at this little... Let's have a look at this little person who's amazing. Anyway, so Lantern is um, level 27, has thick fat for the ability, calm nature, ground typing, and it's, it's just the exact same. It's just now a Lantern. Amazing. Mm hmm. Ha- has better stats now, though. Yeah. I am now in Media Falls. I am talking to Team, Plan- Team Magma. Or, I wonder if they're they're gonna be for you since mine for me it's Team Awesome. I am now talking with Maxi. I mean Archie. I am now in Lava Ridge. Bye bye Archie, and now I can just talk to the okay, uh, sixth gen inventor of the Professor Elm voice. Oh, Evie, hello Evie. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can beat Flannery before this episode ends. Hello, Professor Cosmo. We... Can I have the team for SmackDown, please? I like how his name is his name is spelled with a Z. 
Yeah. Cosmo. <laughs> He needs to get together, Wanda. <laughs> Why? Do you like Pokemon? Is it really that important that, that yeah, people have the same ending letter? <laughs> Z and an A. No. Cosmo and Wanda from Fairy, fairy, from fairy Odd Parents. This oh. <laughs> Pokemon train is called Wanda as well. No, there's like um the place where you get strength. There's a guy who wants to get, who who's separated from between Smash Rock Smash Rocks from Wanda. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, she needs to ditch that guy and go get with Cosmo. So it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Z and A. I'm running back to Full Arbor Town. I have arrived back in Full Arbor Town. Yay! I am now running to Route. At Route 113. I have now arrived in Route 113. I'm going to keep this up all forever at the episode. Because I'm literally now running... I'm now running back to the... Uh, Ow. To the... Uh, Man, that Charmander um, had Blast Burn. Ouch. Cable car. That's it. Cable car. That's the word I wanted to say. The cable car to Mount Chimney. Yep, because now I can go there. I'm just going to go there. Like I'm not going to wait. You're starting to catch up to me. Well, I have to. Oh, it's a Meowth. It actually looks rather cute in this game. That's not a very manly thing to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> like, Joe was giving me crap in between episodes about testing out every Pokemon's adorable or cute. But then again, I like cats. So, Dude, I love cats. I'm and dogs. Cat. And oh, crap. I'm a cat person. <laughs> I'm a cat and dog person. And I have arrived back at the cable car. Yay! You, give me a free cable oh. car ride. It is free, right? Yeah, it's free. It doesn't cost Good. any money. <laughs> that would be kind of annoying. And Really? Okay, then. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Oh. I'm just getting destroyed right now. By freaking a double by a double battle. Okay. What do they have? Because first this pincer uses it this pincer uses blast burn. Uh, and kills my Larvitar, and then after that, um, I send out my Tanavo, which is part dragon type, and then the, uh, Marsh Tomp uses Blizzard. Oh, so I'm team, I have team Awesome as well, by the way. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, then. Interesting. I wonder what Team Aqua is going to be called then. If it's the same thing or not. Well, uh, my Team Aqua member is called Bandana Purse, Bandana Grunt. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, wait, yours a team? Are, are yours bandana? I swear mine was like hamburger or something like that. I think mine was the bandana. I think yours was yeah. hamburger. <laughs> something like that. Stop using Blizzard, Tanavo. Please dodge it again like you did last time. Ooh, Hangover has grass. Whistle. Yes, he avoided it twice in a row. Awesome. I keep on forgetting that Hangover has soundproof, which means it can't be hit by moves that like a sound type. Yep. Which would be an amazing ability, ability sound type from... actually existed. <laughs> sound type? Yeah, if sound type actually existed and you have a uh, soundproof for the ability, you wouldn't be able to hit it with any sound type moves. That sounds cool. <laughs> oh my god. I need to stop. <laughs> the puns. The puns are real, guys. <laughs> I swear I'm not Chucka Conroy, I swear. Lava Lover Tabitha. Ooh. That's what he's called, Lava I Lover. Go. I need to go heal. I'm going to have just enough time to fight Flannery. I might be able to fight Maxi. Alright, I'm going to try to beat Flannery without healing items. I hope this goes well. 
I hope this goes horribly, <laughs> but I can catch up. It probably will. It probably will. All right, let's do this. I believe in my Pokemon. Believe in the heart of the, of the Mons. Oh, now I have to make my way back to her, though. Ugh. Well, Wildfire's dead again. Apparently, uh, apparently Elekid knows explosion in this game. Really? Yeah, it's annoying. Interesting. All right, Flannery, I need your badge. Let's do this. I love how she she's like the one of the newer gym leaders. She's like she's like, she's like welcome. No wait, I need to be a professional. Beauty trainer. How good you to see you made it here. <laughs> I've been entrusted with the no wait. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me though. I have been leader only for a short time. I will um demonstrate the hot moves we ha owned in this land. <laughs> If you watch the anime oh, at this Flannery. point, you actually learn that it's her first day on the job, so you actually feel a bit more sorry for her. Yep. I know. I mean, if they first meet her with her, with her, I think her hair on fire or something, which that kind of sucks. And then after that, when they go to the battlefield, it's all like destroyed because someone kept digging in the last battle. It was, it was oh, so bad. Which is, uh, which should learn to the world that you, if you lose dig, it does actually do some serious damage to the world. You know, it's not like the Pokemon games mm -hmm. where the, the, using a move doesn't do any damage to the outer world. It does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she also loses the badge case too. I oh yeah, that. that. Or like the badges. They were in like the bathroom or something. And then like her father or grandfather, whoever it was, was, was spying on her because he didn't think she was ready. Or like, how, or like keeping things right. And then Max was getting all in his face about it. That was an interesting episode yep. to watch. Oh my god, this Corsola is so bulky. Ouch, it's so powerful too. No, don't this heal it. The power of the combined with the meteorites, amplifying Mount Chimney, this machine with Mount Chimney's volcanic activity, it intensifies it's the energy in deep inside this crater. Foo, foo, oh. foo, foo, foo. Oh, you son. I think I lost this battle already. This Corsola is destroying Yay. me. It's only the first Pokemon, too. It's so strong. Its Shadow Ball does like 60 damage to me when it hits me. Awesome leader, oh, God, Maxi. I didn't, mean to use I, I didn't mean to use Ice Ball. Oh, I'm going to get destroyed. Fiery Boss, Maxi. Oh, a fiery boss. Once you be called awesome leader Maxi, because you're an awesome leader. Yeah, I think Archie's better. Oh, that clutch was one HP though. Well, so please much hit first. For me please hit switching into something down. that's super yes. effective. Oh, come on. That was so close. That one was a one hit. Okay, look, Vardalar, get out there and kill it before she heals, even though she might do that before you can attack. Oh, she didn't. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit this. If I, like, end up, like, hitting... If I'm going to, like, spam this and you get five misses, I'm going to be annoyed. Come on, Kruno. Hit the <laughs> fissure. You can do it. No, free criminal, come on, hit it. You're three levels ahead of it. Yay! Die! Beck will be happy. I used Fisher in an episode. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not good at all. Of course, your ace Pokemon's a freaking Crobat. I used Fisher twice in an episode. I get bonus points. <laughs> yeah, I get those brownie points, bro. Eh, 
And he has rollout. And Great. you have a Metagross. Fantastic. Wow, do I kill this Metagross? You're kidding me. That was super effective, yet it did nothing. Okay. Psychic does nothing to you. Well, it did a little bit. To be honest, it did a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to toxic you. Really? You're bringing fart along in? good. Are you sure that's a good idea, bringing fart along into a battle like this? It could be. <laughs> really? A crit? Are you flipping kidding me? Well, there goes Fadala. Navardo oh, is still right. alive. I thought you put him in for toxic. No, um, my, uh, I, uh, freaking Hydrangea Harmonium has it too. Okay. Uh, Rock Smash? Oh god, that's a, the five to five turn rollout. There's no way Vardala's gonna live that. Nope, I lost. You. I got screwed out of an evolution too because Vardalar grew to level 30 in that fight. God damn it. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me loads of lava cookies. I will buy literally like loads of lava cookies off you. I will do that off. Well, you have to buy them later because we need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've made it to the Jagged Pass. Well, I am. Just with a four Flannery, and I just bought items for next time because, oh my gosh, she destroyed me. Well, at least I know what her whole team is now. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we're going to stop now? Yeah. Okie dokie, so... Um, in today's episode, Kyla decided to try and face Flannery. It was a bad idea on his behalf. I will get to Flannery in the next episode, <laughs> hopefully, if I can get through where... Uh, Route 112, the Dragon Pass, hopefully. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And to today's question of the day, which of course is, which, if you had to eat a Pokemon, what Pokemon would you eat? And also, why? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, I am Joe's PH Games. And I'm Kaiser And Adam. we are out. See you again. Goodbye, guys.